of people feeling that Miami would not be able to reload, that they would have to rebuild with a new quarterback and a new set of linebackers. It was business as usual, though. Frank Costa, he waited years for this day, and he waited all quarter to throw deep. A.C. Tellison, early in the second quarter, though, gets deep, hauls it in, takes it down to the nine-yard line. It would set up this play. Donnell Bennett, one of a group of four talented Miami running backs, gets it in 14 zip canes. Miami defense looked just as good as ever. Rohan Marley comes up, knocks the helmet off David Green. In the third quarter, Tom Coughlin desperately trying to figure out a way to solve this quick Miami defense. But Glenn Foley had trouble all day long. Picked off here in the care of and Dexter Siegler takes it back. A bad call and illegal block brought back this touchdown. They had to settle for a field goal. It didn't matter. Siegler had two interceptions. Miami 23 to 7 and Costa in his debut. 205 yards. Bennett, a pair of touchdown runs. In the big house, Todd Collins takes over for Elvis Gerbach this year. Got out to a good start. Derek Alexander, is he brilliant? He hauls it in. That was the first play of the game. Then Tyrone Wheatley went to work later. Look at this play. He just sheds tacklers, the strong arm, throws down the Cougar defender. 57 yards for the big guy. Michigan rolling up 21-0, Craig. Chris, everybody knows he's a sprinter, but you need strength to be able to use that speed in a football game. This man is unstoppable and will dominate the Big Ten this year. Yeah, they have so many weapons, it's really scary. Washington State, not many weapons, but Kevin Hicks, providing one bright spot for the Cougars, takes the kickoff return, scoots down the sideline, 97 yards for the touchdown, but at that point, it was 31-7. to Meanwhile, Michigan's defense, overshadowed by the offense, but pretty good as well. And Shantae Peoples picks off the pass. 41-14, the Wolverines roll. They scheduled Washington State, moved it up so they'd have a tune-up game before the Irish if he hadn't been hurt. On the game's first play, disaster for Northwestern. Len Williams, pass, deflected. Pete Bursich hauls it in. 21-yard touchdown, eight seconds into the game. Irish lead, 7-0. But Williams would regroup to his credit. He finds Dennis Lundy. Touchdown, a guy named Leahy for Northwestern against Notre Dame misses the point. Can you imagine that? It's 7-6 until Lundy. Again, 12-7, Northwestern up. Notre Dame would have to respond. Ray Zellers from five yards out. The Irish added a couple of touchdowns late. The Irish students know it's going to be a lot tougher against Michigan. 27-12, Lee Beckton, 72 yards. Zellers has 67. They're not Brooks and Bettis. Huskies ready. Steve Stenstrom does find Ellery Roberts the score. Stanford goes up 7-3. But third quarter, 10-7 Washington lead. And Damon Heward finds the tight end, Mark Bruner. 66-yard touchdown for the big guy. Huskies up 17-7. Later in the third quarter, Heward, the new starter, over the middle. Ernie Connell, another touchdown, wide open, 24-7. Look at the free safety bite on the play action pass. That's the key to getting him open for the touchdown. They do that all year. Of course, they know who taught it to him, Coach Don James. James watching in the press box as Washington rolls over Stanford, a win that had to be sweet to him, as well as the rest of the Huckies, 31-14, Jamal. Corey Pullick throws to Leland McElroy. He's the newcomer for the Aggies. They expect big things out of him. He puts them up 7-0 with a touchdown. Here's something they didn't do last year. They couldn't throw the play-action pass. Little dump pass, 86, over the middle is Greg Short. If they do that all year, it will open up things like this that are about to happen. And this was the backbreaker right here, Craig. Pulling to McElroy. You've been telling us about this guy. Look at him take off down the middle, nothing. But green carpet ahead of him. The Aggies finally do get going. That's a custom there. There was no kissing in the first half. They finally got busy in the second half, 24-0. Rodney Thomas, they didn't miss Greg Hill because he rushed for 201 yards and a touchdown on 25 carries. The Gamecocks, their goals aren't quite as lofty. They might want to reconsider. Ugga, trouble today in the rain between the hedges. Brandon Bennett takes the pitch for the Gamecocks, gets outside, but Bennett fumbles the football. Georgia defender, they're kicking the ball around. Toby Cates falls on it, touchdown USC. You think this guy's an arrogant, but at least he backs it up on the football field, the quarterback. And Steve Tannehill, the game backs. He can do whatever he wants if he can get it done like he did today. Eric Zier, a nice ball game, avoids the rush here. Scampers into the end zone, 22 yards. Georgia up 21-17. But the Gamecocks driving in the final minute. Down to the two-yard line, 25 seconds to go. Bennett pulled back before he can cross the goal line. Sparky Woods 
Just a few seconds left for one more try on third down. Bennett again gets it in the end zone from one yard out. And South Carolina drives the length of the field for an upset victory on the road. 23-21, Bennett 108 yards on 24 carries. The quarterback comparison. Look at the stats. You say Zaire had the better day. 21 of 27, 242 yards. Stallings. Tide rolling this evening. Chris Anderson, five-yard touchdown run. Bama up 21-7. Next series, Jay Barker. They look for more passing out of him this season. Finds David Palmer. We look for a big year from Palmer. 33 yards down to the four. Next play, Sherman Williams. Gets into the end zone. We don't really see the Sherman shake. Ah, a little bit there, but... I want to see more of that this year. That's my favorite celebration in college football. Alabama 28-10 early in the third quarter already. 371 uh, total yards. That was in the first half alone. Florida ranked number eight. Favor to meet Alabama in the SEC title game. Take it on Arkansas State. Ben Hill Griffin Stadium at Florida Field. We're spurred a few years. First quarter, John Sacka, the guy he just named the starter, makes Jopa look good. Already two touchdown passes to Bobby Ingram. Here's the hat trick in the first quarter. 21-7. Now they go to the fourth quarter. It's 31-20. They gamble on fourth down. No reason to fake it here early in the fourth quarter. Put the ball and force it on the defense. Make them punt the ball. Give your chance to the offense. Certainly Minnesota's going to be covering Ingram closely, right, with three touchdowns. They let him open again. There's number four, 31 yards up the middle. Penn State wins it, 38-20. Spoiling a great day for Tim Shade to go for quarterback, 34 of 66, 478 yards. That's a school record, but he did have the four interceptions. Bobby Hoying, the sophomore, his first start as Ohio State's quarterback on the opening drive, finds Joey Galloway from five yards out, but holding, called it back. Cooper's team has to settle for a field goal, Lee. Well, I was really impressed with both Ohio State quarterbacks. Here's number three, Brent Powers, steps up, avoids a rush, Throws long to Joey Galloway for 48-yard touchdown pass. Bobby Hoying gets back into the ball game. You'll notice this pass here. He avoids the rush. Watch it. Sidearm. Bing. It's Demetrius Stanley between two defenders. It's his first touchdown pass as a Buckeye. He's from the same hometown as uh, ex-Buckeye great Jim Lachey. 34-7. Ohio State wins it as they look forward to Washington next week at home. Galloway, three catches, 92 yards, and that touchdown. Nebraska. Traditional tough opener against North Texas, a friendly rivalry until the game got underway. Now, Tommy Frazier left the game a mild ankle sprain. Could have returned, didn't have to, because Brooke Berenger came in and played well. Hit Corey Dixon for the touchdown. Later in the first quarter, Toby Wright steps in, intercepts Benny Valentine, takes it back 33 yards. Nebraska, 28 zip after a quarter. And they called it quits after scoring 76 points. Clobbering North Texas, 76 to 14, 39 yards rushing. Nebraska's black shirt defense is tough. Nebraska's rushing offense, tough as always, but Calvin Jones sprained a knee. He'll be out for two to three weeks, Osborne says. That will hurt his chances to win the H Trophy. Clemson expecting an easy romp over UNLV. They don't get it. A down for Death Valley, just 24-14 over the passing Rebels. They've been used to beating up opponents in the opening game. We promised we delivered. Third quarter, Maryland coming back down 29-14. Scott Milanovic, the pass is tip of the defense. Right to Mansell Johnson, the freshman, takes it in. The Turks would tie the game at 29. The Cavs respond. Charles Way shows the way to the end zone. Three touchdowns, 21 carries, 136 yards as the Cavaliers win it, 43-29 on the road. Four, uh, 281 yards rushing for UVA. Southern California, an early lead over Houston, 14-0. They've just gone into the second quarter as John Robinson tries for his first win on his second tenure. Rutgers over Colgate, 33-6 now as they approach halftime. Ray Lucas has run for one touchdown and throw two touchdown passes. Vanderbilt visiting Wake Forest in the beginning of Jim Caldwell's tenure for the Demon Deacons, 13-3 though. DiNardo's club a 10-point lead at halftime. West Virginia started slowly, then came on to Clover. Eastern Michigan, 48-6. Eastern Michigan... 21 rushes, just 12 yards in the first half. Didn't get much better in the second half. Kansas State hosting and clobbering New Mexico State, 34 to 10. The seventh straight time they've won a home opener, and that's the first time since 1917 they've done that. Look at this game. Iowa, 26-25, the winning touchdown with 53 seconds to go. Ryan Terry, a two-yard run. Orange up 16 zip in the third. Braves again. This one tipped. Marvin Harrison, thank you very much. 22-0 Syracuse.
35-12, your final. Graves accounts for 290 of the 512 offensive yards. It was Marvin. Philip Fulmer starting his first full season as head coach. And he watches Heath Schuler to Craig Faulkner. 58 yards for the touchdown. Schuler, three touchdowns, a lot of points. That means a lot of push-ups. And the Vols win it by a score of 50 to nothing. The Texas. And Cordell Stewart passes to Michael Westbrooks. Finally breaks away from the Texas defense, finds the end zone. So Colorado rolls to a 36-14 win. Texas turned it over a total of six times, four in Colorado territory. Arizona meeting Texas El Paso, first time since 1981. First play of the season for the 13th-ranked Wildcats. Number one, Cary Taylor, the kickoff return. Arizona hadn't returned a kickoff for a touchdown since 1990. Guess what? They still have it. Knocked out at the one, but the Cats would score on their third play from scrimmage. Go on for the win. 21-6, Dick Tomey's 100th victory. Today for Badger quarterback Darryl Bevel. Not one, two, three, or four, but five touchdown passes. The record-setting one to J.C. Docking 17 yards in quarter four as Wisconsin wins.